Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, if you've been following my channel, you know that we have this entire series of adorable little purses with all these different animal faces. And you guys, my audience, have been suggesting the different faces that you would like for the purse. So, today we're going to be doing a very, very heavily requested bunny purse. And so let me tell you who's requested the bunny purse. Emma J. Twee V, that's T H U Y V, Melanie L, unnamed with two N's, Giselle B, Aparne S, Veronica J, Ansley M, Jacqueline A, and Lovely Bree, one, two, three. I know that's a lot of folks, but you have all requested the bunny face purse, and so today, we're going to be making this adorable bunny face purse. And I'm going to show you how to make it right now. If you have not made one of these purses yet, what I suggest is go to the, either the link below or the link above and learn how to make one of these purse bodies because you're going to need a purse body. And then you should also watch how to make the fox face because that's going to teach you how to do stickers and it's also going to teach you how to do the basic um, flap face. Now, for this project, you are going to need my template, which you can download from my website, www.sophie-world.com. Again, there's another link down below and up above. You're going to need parchment paper, scissors, an X-Acto knife, please be careful, and duct tape. Now, I've got pink, blue, black, and white here, but you can make your bunny any color that you like. First thing first, you would take all these template pieces and you would cut them out. And I know this is a lot of template pieces, but you do want to take them all and cut them out. You would place your template pieces on your fabric, on your duct tape fabric, and it advises you as to what pieces you would need to cut out. I've already done mine ahead of time here, and I will show those to you. So I've got my face, I've got two ears, and I've got some paws. Now it's up to you whether or not you decide to use two paws, four paws, or no paws. But I've got four paws just to show you. Then the rest of these pieces are all going to be done as stickers. And that's where you use parchment paper. You place your tape down and then you would cut them out after having traced them onto the parchment paper from the templates. Again, I would suggest you go and watch the Fox video because that shows you how to do all of these techniques. Now, to attach our face, what we're first going to do is take our purse and flip it over so that the back side is up. And I'm going to take a piece of white tape here and just place it on the back. Then I'm going to flip this over and I want to figure out where my face is going to come down onto my purse. That looks about right to me, right about there. So I just rub, 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 rub. And now you can see that my face is attached to the back. Now what I'm going to do is take a smaller piece of tape and just seal it right here. Now I've actually cut all of my pieces out ahead of time here as you can see. So I've got all of my different stickers lined up as well. I would suggest you do the same thing just because it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. I'm going to take this piece of tape and I'm just going to open up my purse and I'm going to seal it in between the folds on the sides. So I'm not going to seal it over those, I'm just going to seal it in between those. One there, that side there. If it gets a little squidgy in the middle, just pick it up, put it back down again, and seal it. This is going to make sure that it's sealed on both sides and make it nice and secure. So now you've got your face right there. And now I'm going to flip it over and add the ears. So the ears are going to get added on the back and you may decide that you want short ears, floppy ears, it's really up to you. To, to see what they look like from the front, what you're going to want to do is turn it over this way. And I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see a little bit better. But I'm going to make my ears go out a little bit. 
right in the center there and then out a little bit. Now I'm going to take some small pieces of white tape and I'm just going to secure my ear in place. One ear, two ears, one ear, and two ears. Now it is up to you if you decide that you want your ear to kind of end here or if you want it to go all the way over. Let me show you what I mean by that. These ear pieces are made in such a way that if you would like to, you can lay them on and they can stick over or with your X-Acto knife, you can cut this part off very, very carefully. Like that. Or if you're so inclined and nervous about that X-Acto knife, which I can totally understand, just put your ear down and put another little piece of tape over top of it. You can also cut it ahead of time on the board. See how nice and easy that is to do? Then you don't have to be worried about that knife. Now turn this over and secure the ears from the back with some larger pieces of tape. Basically with these purse faces, the technique is almost always the same, which is add the face shape and then add the stickers that make up the face. There are your ears, there's your face. The next step is just building the face. So I've got my cute little eyes, and these have some adorable little eyelashes on them. One of the things that you may see when you are cutting out your pieces on the template, you may find that this nose piece is a little tricky. Now if that's the case and you would prefer to draw this on, you may use a Sharpie pen and that would certainly be easier than cutting this out. And there you go. But as you can see, we've got it cut out, so I'm going to use the cut out pieces. Now I'm going to put the blue. So I'm just building my eyes here. They're just layers of stickers. And on the template, it is marked for you and it tells you how many of each sticker you need. I'm going to put this in the center. Now, if you want to, you can leave it like this, kind of make a zombie bunny, but it's kind of fun to add a little shine to it. Let's see here. Let's put a little shine. Whoops. Got my shine a little off center there. There we go. And, and a second little little shine. There we go. And then you can do so on the other eye. And the last thing, don't want to forget, is our tiny, tiny, tiny little mouthpiece. Now again, if you decide, you can actually draw this on. There we go. There's a the little mouth. You can draw this on. Oops, I got a cricket. You could draw this on with a um, Sharpie pen. And it looks like somewhere I lost my little shine piece. So I can cut another one, which I will do so in a second. Now, as far as these little paws go, I, I kind of like it with just a paw here and a paw there, or no paws at all. But if you want to, you can add a second set of paws up here so that he looks, here, let me show you, so that he looks like he's kind of jumping. So if you put a paw here and a paw here and then paws down on the bottom, he looks like he's jumping. But I'm actually just going to use the paws and put them down at the bottom. And this is a little bit less work here. You just take a little piece of tape and secure one paw and then a second piece of tape and secure that second paw. Now you can use little pieces to secure down to the sides here. If you use your purse a lot, you may not want to have these little dangling pieces, but it's up to you.
Again, remember this is your purse and your bunny. Maybe you want to add a stomach. Maybe you want to add like a little pink belly. I mean, remember, once you've got the basics going on here, it's up to you to create this bunny any way that you see fit. There you have it, your cute, adorable bunny face purse. Thank you everybody for requesting the bunny. And if you've got any other requests, make sure you leave them in the comments section below and I will try to get to every single one. So far, I think we have about 10 and we'll continue making them as long as you guys continue suggesting ideas. For more great ideas, for purses and more, come check us out at sofa-world.com. Come.